Today our group will like to present question 3 from the tutorial question. For, uh, from the question, it gives us try balance. So we need to identify the items that want to record either statement of income or financial position. We start from the sales and purchases. Sales and purchases, we need to record at statement of income. And then capital, cash, premises, net and drawings, we need to record at the financial position. Next, purchase discount and sales discount. We need to record at the statement of income. Accumulated depreciation premises. We need to record at the financial position. Purchase return and sales return at statement of income. Account receivable, financial position, frame in statement of income, account payable at financial position, salaries expenses, utility expenses, insurance expenses, advertising expenses. Need to record at statement of income. That's all. Hello, my name I'm going to present the first question, which is preparing the comprehensive income statement for the year and the 31st of December 2018 for the key company limited. So the first component in comprehensive income statement is finding the net sales, which we can do that by find, by transferring the sales which are given in the trial balance in the question, which is 414,720. And then we will minus the, the sales discount and sales return from sales to, to obtain the net sales, which is 387 and 20. The next component is finding the cost of goods sold, which we will start by transferring the beginning inventory, which is 40,300 in the second column, and then we will find and then we will find the net purchase by transferring the purchases, which we can get from the prior balance which is 250,500 and then we will subtract the purchases discount and purchase return and then we will get the net purchase which is 218,000 and then we will add the trade in 14,050 to get the purchases cost which is 232,050 and then we will add the purchases cost with the beginning inventory and then we will get the cost of goods available for sale which is 272,350 and then we will subtract the ending inventory which is 48,200 and then we will get the cost of goods sold which is 224,150 and then we need to subtract the cost of goods sold from the net sales to find the, cost, to find the gross profit which is 162,840 and then the last component in comprehensive income statement is finding the operational the amount of the total of operational expenses which in this question we have salaries expenses, utilities expenses, insurance expenses, advertising expenses and miscellaneous expenses which we can get from the prior balance in the question. So the total of the operational expenses is 102,950 102, and then we will subtract the, tot the total expenses from the gross profit to find the net profit 59,920. That's all. Now we prepare the financial position statement, asset, only equity, liabilities, we get among from trial balance. Uh, so, non current asset is land 54,000, premise 196,000, accumulated depreciation 31,000. So, premise uh, minus accumulated depreciation is 195,000. So, 54,000 uh, plus 195,000. 65,000 and get the total of non current asset is 390,000. Second, current asset cash 27,220, account receivable 
15,600 Antique inventory 48,200 And get the total of current assets is 90, 91,020 So, uh, the total of non-current asset plus total current asset is 310,020 okay. Third is owner equity Beginning capital is 206,800 So plus with net profit 59,920 Minus drawing 115,000 and get the total is 251,720 Next, current liabilities Account payable is 58,300 So with total liabilities and owner equity is 310,020 So the total of non-current asset and current asset must save with the total of liabilities and honor equity. So that's all. Focus at 61 session 2020 2021. Bye! Bye! Bye.